question, so I'll be keeping an eye on it. Okay. We have a pledge. A pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Carl. Good I would move to approve. I'll second. Second by Jerry to approve the minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Both nay. Motion carried. Okay. Any comments from the general public? Anybody got something to say? It's not on the agenda. Is Rick going to be here today? Yep. Can you kind of, or do you guys know about the bond? On that DD2, now you've already went through the 80 some thousand you were saving, you're into the bonds now? Well, yeah, we will be. We will be. Well, how long is that good for? The bond? Is it two years? I think so. Two years. From the completion date, we're, we haven't been wanting to complete it, so we got more time. So. I don't know if it's completed. Are we calling it? I don't think we've completed it. Yeah, we have completed it for another two years after that. I mean, when that completion date starts, that's in the two year time frame. How long are you going to be able to uh, wait on the completion? I don't know. I hope we find out today. That's part of the questions for Rick today. I just don't know. That's such a disaster. <coughs> Find that other line? No. Still don't understand the water still is going the wrong way. But they did patch that hole in and then fill it in? Also came out, worked on it, and uh, ended up calling the ready mix. Why well, had to bring out the yard and snip it over it when you got it all done, but uh, it was a mess. There may be others pop up just like what you're saying. Oh well, yeah, there's more out there that need to address now. How, how far is it from where it empties into the creek up to that spot? Could they camera that and see what's... A mile. Oh, is that far on the board? From where it's all fixed. Take a dry time, you can walk all the way up it. Fix the inch pipe all the way up is... No, we're talking about the old line, right? Where's our oh, are you talking about the old line? Yeah, where, you, where that hole was in that. Field we went out and looked at with you. Well, that 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 is one of the old lines. I don't know. There's another right there. Yeah, they're questioning what you found out there on Gary's and give yeah, us a rundown. Right here, you take a look at them. Is what happens? They put a, they put a T in there and then they put a short piece and that was all he did was put drain back over, over, over it. Didn't hold it. Sucked it all in. Didn't hold. And the T, it was six inches below grade, so we got it pulled up and got it back to grade and packed rock the best we could. Of course, there was Gary's out there. There was a lot of water running through there. And uh, we got it back to grade. And then the we uh, put it in the first time. Slid the T uh, tighter to the, to the west side, and then we brought a cement truck in and poured the concrete. That last picture, you'll see that. It, was, it, it just settled, the water pushed this tea, where that T was, it sunk that lower, I suppose. It was about six inches below grade. No, below we below got rock under it, too. Yeah, we got the best we could, anyway. Yeah, with water. You stick your fist in around. Yeah, you could stick, stick your fist in around where it was sucking dirt and stuff. And sure. But that whole system was put in that way. Okay, I see where you got the cement now. 
Comments? Well, the ones that they fix up mine are the same way. They basically sell away. There's no rock that and blow them, and they just settle away. And so the same thing's happening. I mean, there'll be more happening. I mean, when you bring your farm town, you make a 45, I mean, a 90 degree bump down, you know, it settles and as it settles, the whole drain thing, the towel squishes, and you're going to have issues. And we've already fixed about four of them on ours. And so. Did you ever see any rock on site out there? I never did. No. You never see anything like it. No. All the main tiles, they have rock there. Right? No. Nope. Yeah. I mean, I don't when, when you're in conditions like that, you do. Well, I did see rock over there in that one section where they're digging it up. <laughs> you mean the one just now? No, the one where they dug Randy Davis's rock out the oh, yeah, pile down yeah. Oh, yeah. But they never put any rock below it to stabilize it. The pile's just sitting on top of the old limestone. Right. It's just not good either. So. And it's right in the contract that the contractor is supposed to use a curb bucket for that tile to sit down there. He never used a curb bucket. It was a flat bucket the whole way. Okay. I've never seen anything like that. And the reason they do that is for the, the structure of the tile. You, the strength of it stuff. I mean, you just put it in a flat bottom. That's for the, the plastic tile, correct? Yeah. Plastic or cement. But I know the plastic tile people suggest using a spoon. Oh, well, they do, a spoon. Yeah. Spoon yeah, but I mean, people do a cement too. Yeah. They'll just set right in there. Once a long range projection might have to be done. You can tear it all out and start with it. No. No. Well, I know there's another one at Russ's farm. That's just what uh, east of there that we agree a lot too. But I think he's got a plant, so we got to wait for it to dry up again. But there's one out there that just didn't get hooked up or something. So. Uh, it's, uh, we're blaming Cheney guys, but who was keeping an eye on? Nobody. So let's ask Rick about it. Rick Hopper's fault. <laughs> what the blame where it's supposed to be? Okay. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That we went 15, 16 feet deep, right? I don't know how deep was that. Probably no. Probably 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I stopped out and looked at it one day, and like you say, the water's running backwards in that tile because of the pressure on the old main. Is that the reason? Well, it, it was running backwards. It's still going backwards. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. The water is running that way. That way. And and that one. You know, when we dug and found the, where the old tile had been dug in, it was, it was evidently tied to the northwest from there. Yeah. Well, but anyway, this looked like it was running backwards. Once we got it pulled back up, what it was doing was restricting there and then running back. Oh, I see. Oh, it slowed, slowed it down. down. Well, when we got it pulled well, back up to grade, then it, it was flowing. Oh, it really wasn't running backwards. It was just backing up. Back. The intake, it is going it's backwards. Going west. The yeah. that in the ditch. Rick Hopper, he doesn't know either. He, he's seen it. Why would that do that? So really, really running both ways and then taking that T and down to the main. Well, the T, like I told Gary, I think that T's offset. I don't think it's sitting right over the main. Because we shined in there and I shined the light down and the guys, when we had that opened up, they couldn't see the light. So it's, if it's offset, then you're... So you're talking about the intake in the ditch? Is offset off. Oh, no, it's not. We found a 17 inch tile. I've measured that tile. But that one we were working on was 22 and a half. Well, yeah. I was in the field for it. But that's uh, well, where's, where's the time for it? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just afraid that we're not. Uh, and then you went straight across. That's not the way you know, You should have had a Y up farther so the water could go into that. That tile was so overloaded. This thing was designed wrong when people above that area now have tile problems and have to replace that 100 year old tile. They're going to get assessed all over again because they took off with it from a different direction. They should have followed the old main up. Is that right, Bob? Yeah, they probably should have. They, they, went, they followed the branch instead of the main, right? Right. They followed the branch and took a whole different route. So now that old main is all there by itself, which will have to be replaced because it's close to 100 years old. And then these people, including myself, are going to get assessed again. And it's all due to the way that it was engineered. I just cannot believe you people sat here. And put up I think part of that problem was with IDALs. That's how they wanted it designed. They weren't going to find it. So, so it then I guess we should have turned it down if you didn't want it. I mean, well, that's the that's people's choice. A lot of choice. people didn't understand all that. Well, it's hard to understand all that, but the point being is to get that kind of drainage closed in Agwell, 
they gave direction on how, what direction they wanted to do it. Yeah. Either you close them or you don't. If you didn't want to close them, then I guess you go that route. But they could have gone the other. We should have well, gone they to didn't. those people and explained to them what's going to go on. They just were looking after themselves to get the wells closed. But they weren't looking at the long range picture. Yeah, they were looking at the shortest distance. Yeah. Cheapest amount. Cheapest yeah. amount. Yeah. And that's but how they're going to close them. What? Was it Bob? I, I can't. I'm not an engineer. I don't know that, Gary, but it, it would make sense to follow the other direction, but I don't know what the cut would have been coming from the corner of Section 6 back towards Section 7, or 5, I guess, back where those drain holes were in Lloyd Davis's. But, you know, he still went 26 feet deep through. Birth. Well, and here's the other problem with the 100-year-old tile. You know, just running a new one alongside it isn't always good either because the old one's going to fail eventually. The problem is if they'd done nothing, they would have never closed these ag wells. That 100-year-old tile would eventually collapse too. So, I mean, I don't know what's right or wrong there. Well, then they tapped the old mine. It's when you start messing with the new and the old. That's where you're going to have problems. So the old mine is tapped into the new one right there in Gary's field and also setting down that's there right. that Leahy field or the Connie Graves field. The old tile is pushed into the new tile down there also, down there right by the fence line. By Mercer's and all that. There's so does that help or hinder the old tile? That's the question. They make the private tile off there in part of that field because it's, it's nothing coming in on the top side, nothing, nothing on the bottom. So I mean, it's private tile off there for use, so it should help that farm better. Yeah. Like if the old tile looked up to it again, seventy-five okay. percent money come back to bite us. Well, I don't no, know. I wouldn't say I it came back to bite us. We just we just had things issues putting it in the ground. The money was probably good to have done, to get this done. Otherwise, five years from now, and the permits are two years from now, and the That's drainage right. permits were done for the, for the drainage well, they would have said, sorry, close them. Here's your permit to life, and you're closed. And so then you have drainage wells with no drainage. So I think the other part of the problem is these are getting harder to close and more complicated, and that's not making it any easier. So it had to do with the design, like deep. Gary said. Maybe we should have followed the old line clear around like it should, like they was, but this is the design they had. Second one is we should have stopped after the first week of construction and had them fixed right there what was wrong to begin with. Then if it couldn't get it fixed then, we should have continued on with somebody else. The contractor we knew from the get-go was wrong because when he put those 72 inch pipes in, he didn't get them pushed tight enough together. And we knew that the first week. So we should have stopped right then and then and reevaluated. Too late now. It's just a disaster from the get-go. It's too late now, right. It's too late we, for what we have, we have to use. The contract is out of business, right? That's right. That's why I'm saying how long can you extend this bond? Because this is going to be not good. Maybe not for a long well, time, but it's going to play in there. Well, we haven't closed on it, so you got uh, two years, probably two to three years uh, down the road. And I guess that being said, Gary, I think now, if we've got two years, we better utilize this two years to figure out what we need to do to make sure it's, we get as much back or as much out of it as we can. So that's part of why we're in closed session. You know, we need to discuss some of this stuff. I think, I don't think we keep wait, I don't think we can keep waiting on this stuff. I think we need to start addressing what direction we're going to take because it's going to be two years real quick. It doesn't take long for two years to go by. You know? yeah. All right, I got one other thing. <coughs> Did you guys give any more thought to leaving these driveways out here with this new power line is going in? I just cannot believe. I drive out there and look at those driveways, and they are the best driveway you could possibly put in. The county can't put one in that good. They're all put in the grade. they are all got the pipes they're supposed to have. And you're going to have the people tear every one of those out. I'm still stressing. You guys don't understand, and Jerry, you should. You're a farmer. Okay, Gary, here's, Gary, here's how it's going down right now. What's that? Here's how it's going down at this point in time, for what I know how we're at in handling this. Those are temporary driveways. They are owned by MC. They have rights to those driveways till the project's done. The project's not done yet. The project will not be done probably this year. Right now. What Paul is doing is taking applications from mm -hmm. farmers that have those driveways, just like if they wanted a new driveway, asking for a permit for those driveways. Chances are they may get turned down for whatever reasons he wants to turn down. That file will come to us and we'll have to review them one at a time, all at a time. I think they're going to come all at once. We'll review them and then the Board of Supervisors will decide how to handle them. Okay. At this point, you need, if you want them, you need to get a permit just like you want a new driveway. Okay. They're probably going to turn down 
if you've got two, what is it, two and a quarter mile or something like that, yeah, or, two or more than two and a quarter mile, they're maybe going to turn it down because you've got too many driveways. Okay, maybe you'll be agreeable to take out a poor driveway you've got if you want to do that. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll come in and request to leave them all in. But that will be all determined individually when you come in and request to leave, you know, an alteration or a change to the Board of Supervisors. We'll have the final say. But at this point, if there's nothing, it's still their driveways, and if there's problems, the engineer will they'll come in and tell us what they think the problems are, and we'll have to determine if that's a problem or not, I think. But I don't quite get it. We're talking the driveway. Forget the driveway part. I'm talking about a nice turnout when you need a combine with an 80,000 pound truck. It is so nice to be able to get off the road with that combine. Well, right. Any piece of equipment. But I think if Why I not leave him? I mean, Paul is totally against driveway turnout. No, Paul is, right. Paul is following the rules. Uh, he has to turn them down according to our, is it a resolution? Or, right. He has to follow the rules. I know that. So then they come to us to get him to oversee the rules. Okay. Paul's not saying everyone has to come out. He's just following. You know, he's, he's following the rules. He's got that rule. So <laughs> okay, along yeah. those lines, I've talked to um, Don Bash, I've talked to Keith Denclaude, I've talked to um, the other guy down for Dodge, uh oh, Cat Fletcher. And they have similar policies. I don't know what they're going to do, but at this time they have similar policies where they don't want driveways more than two per half mile. That's Webster County's that way. Wright County, or Kitsuit County, they're looking at it too. Cause, or Webster County, they don't want any maintenance on it. They're going to say that they're as is, and if there's something needs to be done, you're going to have to pay for it. Everybody's got a little different idea on it, but most of them are all calling them temporary driveways, and they're going to have the farmers that come in and request a permit to leave them or put them in or leave them in. So they're all handling it the same way at this point. If he's safe to feel the same way as I do, why not leave? Well, he'll have to bring that to his board, and his board will have to decide that. If they have a different resolution. Keep the supervisor. Yeah, Dan Clark. Yeah, and if, he has, if, they have, if their engineer has a different policy that he has to follow, they'll have to override that. I mean, I think this is a unique situation. This doesn't come along every year that no, you get driveways it's, like this. It's an my, under, my thoughts would be maybe we should have the three counties kind of get together and see what everybody's going to do. Maybe we should do something in general, maybe. I don't know. I just can't believe you. But they're not going to be taken out yet. There's a file we're going to keep them laid already. And I know there's, we're not sure. I know there's in the several names on, on the, in the file. I haven't looked at them. And they haven't been discussed yet because it's going to be discussed all at once at one meeting. Because everybody's going to have the same questions. And you just as well tell it to everybody the same way. So is that what you guys would feel? Yeah. You're right? You need to put, I believe them as far you need to put something them. in the paper about and well, we can, and I Kasu thought they might do that. Webster didn't know if they'd do that. I don't know what it I mean, was right. The time I brought this up, you guys said, well, it's right where the pole is. Why don't you want to drive? That was my misunderstanding, because I thought they were going to use these but driveways I'm to help set the pole. Saying, yeah, but I'm just saying, I'm not totally saying you need it for the field driveway. I'm saying you need it for a turnout. Yeah. This machinery's gotten so damn big. And you look down the road and you see a tractor coming with a big field car. Well, going. Gary, that being said, the, the idea is great, and most of the farms have two of them. They don't need two of them for a turnout, but if they want them, they, they can put in a request. Maybe they'll take out a poor smaller driveway. You know, I mean, most of the farms have at least two. You wouldn't need two for every half mile no, for a turnout. No, they don't, but I mean, they're there. They are not. take them out. Paul just thinks that they bother the drains. He's got all kinds of excuses, which is a bunch of bull. The driveways aren't hurting anything. Well, at this point, every engineer. Oh, got a two. At this point, every engineer in all three counties are looking at them similar. So it hasn't been resolved in any county. Okay. I think they need to. We got to open the bench. We don't want to cut conversation off. We'll continue this discussion afterwards. I think with the clouds clear here, I just drive away from them. Can't still be there. We're going to wait until the project gets completed before you just finish it. Okay. It's I'll make a motion the close time for receiving bids. Okay, and motion to honor and close bids to receive. Motion to close the time to receive bids. So second. Second. Second by Morgan. All those favors say aye. 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 Okay. Motion passed. Friends here for the architectural engineer. I passed the scalpel. <coughs> oh, okay. Thank you.
We have four minutes. Okay. I don't think I should. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
appears to be seven seven hundred and seventeen thousand nine hundred. Seven seventeen nine hundred. Uh, alternate A one twelve thousand. That's seven seventeen nine and twelve thousand for a one. That is all the bids that we have. A1. Uh, that's the impact resistor glazing on all of those exterior windows. We just wanted to break that out so we had a cost on all that and could make a decision on that. Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Open for discussion. Anybody have anything you want to say about the bids? We range from 717 to 903. <coughs> Oh, we have three that were really competitive. So that's, that's a good sign. Any comments from the public? Anything you want to say? Anybody? What was the project estimate? We funded it. That's correct. Our latest budget came in right around seven hundred thousand. It ranged from six seventy five to seven twenty five is where we were at. Good. I suppose it appears the public and the parents grow better with the uh, Woodruff at 17900 What we'll review those. And yeah, we'll review them for a week and we'll I award we'll them next week. We can take time this week, talk to Woodruff, and qualify the bid, make sure everything is good. Card. And then, card. Uh, I'd take one. as I understand it, at your next meeting, then you'll be able to take action on that. So mm -hmm. I, I can Thank do you. that just on my end, and then I can let you know where we stand with that and uh, move forward from there. We'll put that on agenda for next week, then. Certainly. Tuesday. Tuesday. So what's the start date on this bid? Well, one of the things we talked about previously was state review being a piece of this, and actually in talking with uh, Cornbelt there, because there are no state dollars in this, we can actually move forward with this as soon as we get the contracts lined up. We can move forward pretty quickly here. So it's a matter of timing this out with uh, the sheriff there and the move and having everything coordinated. So I think that's one thing that we'd have to work through, but we could, we could get the ground relatively quickly here. So yeah, they've already done a fair amount of prep work moving equipment, getting ready to move equipment and stuff. So. Okay. Good. Will be two okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Thanks, All those favor say aye. Aye. Close the date. Close the hearing. Peggy, we'll pass it back to you to discuss the budget once and You bet. Not a lot of changes this time. I went through and added in. Oh, I do have some here. Copies there for the press if you want to look over to them. Um, I interjected some revenues this time because we're getting close to the end of the year and it's nice to bring in some of those revenues we received that we hadn't budgeted for, so hadn't planned on, so we brought in about 130500 in revenue, um, mostly in the intergovernmental category. So that helps. Um, the public safety and legal services area of the budget, we amended that by 41000 That was mainly for our new uh, deputy sheriff and some uh, service of paper charges. You never know how many papers the sheriff's going to have to serve, and as you get towards the end of the year, you find out it's Sometimes a little higher, a little lower than what you anticipated, so that's why we bump that up. Physical health and social services, which is on line 19, we raised that by 22500 and that's because of the juvenile shelter costs and rental electricity for the VA office. Uh, county environment and education is on line 21. We only got that by $1,200. Um, we wanted to show some additional costs for mileage for the zoning department. 
under roads and transportation, we raised that up by 80,000, and Paul had in his notes um, asphalt patching and road stone. And I gave you Paul's additional right. there so you can see. Mm -hmm. okay. um, on line 23, government services to residents, we raised that by just 2,000. Um, additional well, cost for township per diem. Um, we had a special meeting for township trustees mm -hmm. um, that added a little bit of extra cost to it. So we thought, well, just to be sure, we're going to raise it up a little bit to cover all those costs. It didn't cost, come up to that amount of money, but you always have a little bit extra to it just in case they have a, an additional meeting for the end of the year. Administration on line 24, we raised that by 71000 um, That's mostly the cost for the engineering fees for the LAC. So that was a big expense we were taking out of the board supervisor's budget and decided we should move it into its own. So, um, capital projects, um, 880000 that's Paul's uh, carryover money for bridge and box projects. So the total um, was $1 million. 144700 because we also added a transfer in there, too, of some money, so 47000 So the total budget of this was the $1,144,700. So that puts our ending cash balance as of June 30th from 4874 to 36 down to 3860036 but we're still in good shape. So don't have to worry about having a low cash balance to do it there. Any discussion amongst the board? Thank you. What carried out pretty good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Comments from the public on the budget amendment. Any okay, motion to close the public hearing? Second. Rick, Rick had a motion to second that board. <coughs> Those in favor of closing the public hearing say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Our next item would be to <coughs> approve the resolution 2015-13 for a budget amendment. I make motion to approve the resolution 2015-13. Second. Second. All those in favor of the resolution 2015-13 for a budget amendment, say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carried. Okay, moving along, we need to have a public hearing for codification of county ordinances. The open public hearing to discuss codification changes. Is there a motion to open? So moved. Second. Motion to carry, second by Mark. Any in favor say aye. 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 Nay. Motion to carry. This is a project we've been working on in our office on and off for probably the last six months trying to get ordinances updated. It's been a while since I've sent these all out to the department, but they did have them all turned back in that. And there hasn't been a huge amount of changes. Um, I think I gave the board a copy of ordinance number 62. This is the copy of the public. Ordinance 62 has all of the ordinances in it that are active. I also have for you guys, and I don't think I gave you that, the ones that were revoking. Mm -hmm. um, these are ones that maybe were an amendment to another ordinance, so now they're combined into one ordinance. No really big major changes. There were two, Ordinance 11 and Ordinance 13, we raised fees on those. And Ordinance 11 was the private water well construction permit. And the uh, fees went from seventy-five dollars to a hundred. Okay. And then thirteen was the on-site waste treatment and disposal system rules, and we raised that fee from seventy-five to one twenty-five. Um, those were recommended from the public health department, so those were changed. Everything else was combining. You know, those, there'd be an amendment, and then a few years later, maybe an amendment to that or that ordinance. So you add the two together. So there's some that had several amendments to them. Um, the rest are cosmetic things. You changed the code section number, um, changed titles from the administrative assistant to executive director, you know, things like that. So there wasn't a, a whole lot that we changed. There was just a few. And so I have a list for the board members of every ordinance we've had, which ones are active, which ones are deleted. I thought you might be interested in just knowing because you look at the Ordinance 62, 
and there's numbers missing, and you wonder why there's numbers missing. So I did research and found all of them and said, all right, here's our complete list, and what's deleted. So this is what it comes down to, is just an excuse on file. So we've cleaned them up quite a bit. We've cleaned them up a lot. And a lot of hours to do that. It did, yeah, because some of these were sold that they had been on a previous computer system and hadn't been carried forward, so um. they weren't even in the internet on our new computers, so Chris had to retype everything for me. And then, of course, she proofread them, and then I proofread them, and we make sure that they're... You know, when you're by at night and see your light on, we know what's going on. Yeah, I'm probably trying to half fall asleep at my desk reading ordinances. Mm -hmm. Most of them are okay, but we didn't get into number 26, the zoning ordinance. That one's quite lengthy. There's, there's mm -hmm. like... 30 some pages to that particular one. Right but you'll find little things and you check some of them. Mostly spelling things. Other so comments? Anybody got something to say? Comments from the public? Are these all on your website that we can go in and review? No, but we should do that. We should get those set up. I, mean, I know a lot of counties do that. So, yeah, if you want copies, we can do that or we can start posting some. I'll have to get them to start doing that. Good idea. Other comments from the board or public? Peggy, you'd be thanked for a lot of extra work here. Oh, you're welcome. Glad to do it. They need to clean that. So. How often do we have to do this? We're supposed to do them every five years, and it's probably been eight years since we've done it. Okay. We're a little behind. But. To obtain a motion to close, close the public hearing. So moved. Motion by Holland. Second by Moore. All those in favor of closing the public hearing, say aye. Aye. Close nay. Okay. Discussion of Ordinance 62 of the first reading. To approve an ordinance, you have to have a first reading. So I don't know if you officially want me to read the wording of Ordinance number 62. No. Um, an ordinance adopting the existing county code in Humboldt County, Iowa, being enacted by the Board of Supervisors of Humboldt County, Iowa. Section 1, Purpose, Code of Iowa, Section 331.302, Subsection 10, requires that once every five years the county shall complete its code of or compile, I'm sorry, its code of ordinances. This ordinance adopts ordinances already in effect, adopts ordinances that became effective after the last adopting, and repeals any ordinance deemed no longer necessary to the operation of Humboldt County, Iowa, or the health, safety, and welfare of its citizens. Section 2, adopting the current code, the following ordinances have been previously adopted and enacted into law and were duly published as the law provides. They are stated herein by number and subject matter and by the authority of the Board of Supervisors comprise the Humboldt County Code of Ordinances. And then I list all the ordinances. Section 3, Code of Ordinances, copies of the Code of Ordinances as adapted herein shall be on file and available for public inspection in the Office of the County Auditor at the Humboldt County Courthouse. Section 4, when effective, this ordinance shall become effective after its final passage, approval, and publication as provided by law, adopted and passed the 18th day of May, 2015. Now, the ordinances that were changed, we will publish those, and then this ordinance to make it official that everything has been adopted whenever um, you have the right to either you approve the first reading and then you can wait the second and third or you can continue it on for the next week and have your second hearing and then the next week and have third hearing, whichever way you want to do it. It's up to you guys. All right. What desires? We need to take action today to approve the first reading or we can approve the first reading. And You're going to publicize that in the paper then this week? Um, I'm not sure if I'll get it in this week, but it'll be in next week for sure. I'd like to get it in this week. Can we wait in the second or third reading if it's not published? Sure. Because mm -hmm. it's not official until it's published. Okay. But I can't publish it until you've right. officially made motions and sent it on to. To get it started, yeah. What's the desire? Do we need to wait the second and third reading or you want to go through it again next week? I'll make a motion to wait the second and third readings and file approval of ordinance number 62. So you're second? I'll second. Okay, we we'll hear the motion that. We waive the second and third reading of Order 62. All those in favor of approval of this motion say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Okay, thank you. We'll get those taken care of. Okay, is the time for us to go through the right now? No. Not yet. Uh,
you can move down here and say approved certification of expense for the city election. Special election. Finally got some time to put together the expenses. Um, you guys had this list with the packet, but I gave you a new one because I forgot to include the supply cost. And so I thought I better have that in there. That's part of the cost of the election. The total expenses for the March 3rd special city election were $2,145.08. That included um, supply costs, uh, notices, printing of ballots, publication of the ballots, the election officials, and the program charge. And there was a program charge this time because I felt that this election might be one um, for us too. I think you guys have. We have copies. That there might be a heavy uh, turnout uh -huh. for this yeah. election. And I didn't want any controversy at the end of people saying, well, did you count all of them right? All the yeses and the noes. So this takes all the guess out of the machine. Counts everything as it should be. So everything was fully tested. And whenever you order programming, of course, there is a cost. Yeah, we get reimbursed back from the city. Yes, yeah. I have a bill attached. Yeah, mm -hmm. the city, whenever you guys are okay. We move your approval. We have a motion by Harlan. I'll second. Second by Rick. To certify the expenses of March 3rd city election. Other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carried. Next item on business is. Uh, 2015-12 resolution for Villa Sack in Calhoun County, considering the IDEA lawsuit. How did you have more information on that for us? Well, it's kind of got the IDEA and the three counties all in agreement on how we were going to handle this. IDEA will collect the funds and so forth and then disperse them to the counties uh, is it Berlin or Balin Law Firm in Des Moines that they have hired to represent the three counties? So, uh, and uh, there will be a, a separate board uh, of uh, two members of IDEA and two members of the three counties that determine how the money is spent. So, uh, is there a chance they're going to withdraw that case? What was it? I was watching, was it uh, Market to Market Friday night and they interviewed uh, St Stowell or whatever his name is down there and uh, he seemed to be backing off a little bit. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so the editorial is pretty unhappy with one group. Yeah. 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 I have this hard to say we needed this money to get it from all the counties, the majority of the counties, and there's several thousand dollars left over. Mm -hmm. It's going to be rebated. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's a special fund that will go back to the counties. Okay. Yeah. See, and part of that, Carl, is we give 5000 per year, so if all of a sudden, you know, it's done in a year, we wouldn't have given 15000 all at once. So it says down the bottom there, if it necessary to notify the county additional financial support would not be necessary. So yeah. kind of like that idea too, just let me use it as you go. So. You anticipate a lot of the counties coming on board? With yeah, I do. You didn't have a total of kind of how many out of the 99 or 100? Well, but uh, at the meeting I was at, the, uh, the three county uh, supervisors they sent this letter out to all the 99 counties, and uh, they were going to call the chairman of each county, uh, chairman of their board, and talk to them about putting <coughs> part in this. Because, uh, you know, not all counties have drainage districts, but if you get into the hilly counties, they do have uh, drainage. It's all private, but uh, so they are affected. And they'd have streams too that could oh, be sure. I mean, yeah. They've got to look at it that way too. Yeah. yeah. And so. I'd like to make a motion to approve resolution 20 
15-12, and this is the resolution of support the University of Calhoun and Sac Counties and IDDA on drainage lawsuit. Motion by Jerry, you'll hear a second. Second. Second by Moore. Other discussion on resolution 2015-12. We have a question. We have a question. Well, no, I think it's a good thing to support this. We've had over six inches of rain in the last two weeks. Moyne just doesn't understand that we can't control that. And so we need drainage is so important to our industry in this county, which is the largest industry. We need to support this. I think it's a good idea. I think we need to give the Moyne Waterworks a heads up too because the Cedar Rapids area, they're trying to cooperate yeah. on the same thing. Here they want to fight you. Other discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Next item of business is a resolution amending the restating of the electronic transformation clearing house agreement. And this came about as a result of a work session we had down in Moyne. Went to a phone and showing some of the wording basically is all not to. Uh, Peggy and Paul, you were at that board meeting when you talked about it. You want to add anything extra? That's primarily uh, the name change, isn't it? It's going to be called the Iowa. Iowa's electronic transfer. What is the name of it? Now? It won't be called the electronic transfer clearinghouse anymore. It should be called Iowa's. Iowa County Technology Services. In order to get that applicable, every county in the state of Iowa has to sign off on that change. It's been approved by the advisory committee, it's been approved by the and it's been discussed in the ISAC board, I believe. Probably approved there, has it? been an action on it? No, we approved it. No, it's just to go out to the counties to okay. uh, sign the new 2080 agreement. So to put a closure to this, we need to have a approval of this resolution. 28. The agreement. powers of the board, there were my, minor changes to the powers of the board of the 2080. Um, the advisory committee has <coughs> the cap on the number of members. They talk and about adding one, of the, adding one of the region <coughs> representatives to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now county entities, now that we're getting into some other things. Like Eventually, maybe we'll have a communication system that everybody can use and talk to each other. Right now, it's kind of fragmented. Yeah. We had a lot of money spent on getting this put together. Lots of money. But we kind of had to stop the train now and start to run. No, I'll move we approve. Mr. Harden? I'll second. And Ms. Jerry? Yeah. Rick? <coughs> we approve the resolution 2015-14. And then resolution on the... Uh, Electronic clearing house, all those things that I Okay, we're about 925 away from drainage. Uh, anything things you could add before we go to drainage? Um, I got a hold of Jansen Waterproofing, and oh. he was, I, I thought maybe taking a while just to take a look at the courthouse. Um, he was up here within the next couple of days. Okay. Went around with Dave, looked at everything. Um, I told him we were interested in both tech pointing and waterproofing. The meeting. He said things are in very good shape. He said you guys have done a good job. Yeah, he said we've done a whole lot. Mm -hmm. There were some places where that rubber stuff they put in has kind of shrunk okay. and worked it, yeah, it's way away, so there's some cracks. That we, but he said he could take care of that. He's putting together a quote for us. Well, that's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Won't take too long. Keeping on top of things helps. Yeah, yeah. But he was really surprised at how good a shape the building was in. He kept saying, "You guys have done a good job." So, thought I'd pass that along. You don't hear very much, but people thanking you for keeping the foot up. Otherwise, it takes a lot of money to fix it up. So the roof. Uh, Fabric, or whatever you want to call it up there, looks pretty good yet. Then, huh? um, he didn't mention anything about the roof. We haven't had the roof guy come. This is just waterproofing and tech pointing. Oh. 
see that roof is getting close to 20 years old. Yeah. We yeah. did that shortly after I got on the board. So. And I think we had the guy come and look at it maybe three, four years ago, and he said it was doing okay. Didn't we put some more rock up there? Yeah. 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 We had yeah. some of the rock, you know, we had to go up there and do yeah. a few thousand dollars worth of stuff. Got it over 15, 16 years. Yeah. Should I have him come take a look at it again and make sure we're still Well, it's just something we got to keep. I think I would have said yeah, that point was it going to be a problem. Yep. Last and time. I know that's been, she said it's been five, six years, or a bit, yeah. all that. Yeah. Six years. Last time the front of people up there, they thought the air conditioning people, they thought there's little bubbles on the Was it air conditioning? You want to really check yeah. over? And if you get them taken care of when they get too bad, then. Okay, it's time to go to the drainage. Motion to go to the drainage. Second by. Motion by Jerry. I'll second. Motion by Rick. All those favor go to green. Say aye. 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 Oh, day. Motion carried. We are in the green. We'll wait to change the guard here. Oh. Which one of these levers makes this thing rock? This ought to be a nice one. And pull out on it. Put out. DV6 lateral A, where's that? That is the one that's going to run up on the side of the road. Isn't that it, the one? Which one? DV6 lateral A. Is that the one out here? Yeah, it's out here on three. Either. Who's that? The no, this, no, that's this the one that runs up along that road. Northwest. Oh, road. yeah, that's the one that's got all the trees and stuff in it down by four. Versus and um, that's one where they... It's probably... Um, we went in yeah. there and... Video cam some of that, and it was full of tree roots and stuff, so they patched where the problems were. Now it's continuing to be a problem. I think they're going to abandon this part, probably. It's this this piece right here. There's a dredge that comes over and runs yeah. up along the road. Yeah. The and we're going to repair that, and then they go the new main over. Oh, we picked the dredge that runs. Most of it. Not of all, all the work is going to be done right in that section, I understand. More? Was that eight. that road that the black right along the black out there? Uh, no, it's um, gravel. It's gravel. Yeah. Okay, it's gravel. It's too. So there's a quick straight south run south out of that door too. Mm -hmm. On the black top. Yeah, that's the other one. That's what three or what is that number there? The one south of four. Here, this is DD three. Yeah. This is DD six up in here, and it's section eight. Okay. Is that, a, is that Norway? Yeah, Norway. Right. There's a case where they're just going to tear out the old main and put a new in. Is that in progress right now? Is this a completion here? It's a completion is, it is completion. No, I, I don't think so. Oh, that's what I was trying to understand. It says set completion here in date. Unless I'm yep. thinking about the wrong one. Literally. Rick was there, then he left. He called it. But man, there's a red pickup out here with a red sign. I can't see if it's Rick. Must be back again then. I guess he was in the red pickup. Yeah, yeah. You heard Bob was here and he left. Huh? Okay, Bob. Bob and Dad scary. <laughs> well, Jacobson was here uh, too and he left. So. <laughs> hey, did you do the uh, yeah, yeah, thing yet? Yeah. The other day, with that new top on yeah, the Yeah, that's why I don't want to miss the screen here. But this is called D. Unless they're talking about the one that I took. Which was that one? Oh, that one? That's what they're talking about. Okay. 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 That's what they're talking about. Okay side by side in town, the exact same acres, and there's dollars difference, like 50, 60 bucks difference between the two lots. In town? In town, side by side. Well, you can straighten those things out when you're... <laughs> well, then, I, I mean, I, and then I've also looked yeah. where I have that's, a public ground. That's, 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 that's three. Yeah, that's three. 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 That's three.
Um, which one? I'm really DD2. Yeah. Are so, uh, they you scared me. I don't think a dumb is different. For the house on his, mine up fair land. See, it says lateral A. It says lateral A1. I was thinking that was just lateral A1. Yeah. A1. You'll find out all those things. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's amazing because the prices are, the prices that I'm getting are actually the same as $148 an acre, for up to $320 an acre for the assessment out there on that. So, the so so house is going to be higher assessment? Yeah, that's a new time we put in. Yeah, the assessments that I have in this sheet that was sent out to me in the mail go from $148 to $320. Yeah, all within that two mile range. So, who is the one you're looking for? You guys point them, I don't know. All I got to think in the mail didn't say. Oh, I forget who was on that. I looked in my drawer, I didn't see it. Well, well what did he, uh, um, I took it home. <laughs> and it didn't say in my letter saying, <laughs> invite me to the hearing, it didn't say who did it. Would it be Brian Martin? Martin, Martin yeah. Yeah. Just, I was just curious. I can ask those later. Hi, Rick. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, Kinos, too. We're down to discussing the lateral BD6 lateral 1A A1. A1. Is that a complete What's going on out there? Um, work is done except for some repair on the uh, headwell of the culvert under the road, and that was not part of the original bid. So there's also a pile of trash out there. They were, I don't know if they were going to bury part of that. Um, no, it's ready to be hauled on. Okay. It's a large pile. What's that? Was Doug going to do that? Or? Well, on your work order, you had contacted with it, but maybe you'd sent somebody to talk to him. Doug said he would do it. He yeah. said he was going to start that shortly. Well, then we had all the rain. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. But, of course, you know, in the meantime, the third layer is going on in the Highway 3, and they put the extension out on the guardrail, so they can't use that driveway. So yeah. will they be planning on moving that driveway for us, or are we stuck with I w that? Well, I would hope you'd have another driveway oh, back. We'll have to go through the field or from the Yeah, road. and that's what Doug and I talked about last week. I, you know, short of a new drive, they'd be paying crop damage to get into it. We'll have to do another one. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they extended the guardrail on the north Which, side of the road out there. You know, that's not a problem with the driveway part. Normally they would relocate those. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't talked to anybody from the DOT. To relocate that driveway, that would be too. More crop damage. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think they, honestly, I don't think they'll get through there for a long time. Going through the field, it's that soft. Yeah. Even where that ditch was dug. Mm -hmm. And it's a surface drain anyway, so there's water moisture there a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't, it's going to be done. But well, and Jerry farms that field. You know, and then the, the other thing concerning is now the dirt's washing out. And I knew that would happen. That's what um, Gary was just telling us earlier. Mm -hmm. It's starting to wash out. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that headwall needs to be back in there. I mean, it just, yeah. Arrangements were made with Doug Marshall, and like Jerry said, then it started raining. So. Um, yeah. Yeah, There's been a lot of private tiling going on once the main tile was put in out there. You've probably all seen that if you've been east at all. Um, but Yemlin's contract, I would say, is completed. Uh, you're holding a little over 60000 in in uh, retainage. Uh, Sixty thousand one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Now, there's, I've had some communication from Cretex on lack of payment for pipe. Uh, but Yemlin has chipped away at that, and it, it is something under 60000 now that he owns, owes. Um, I promised to Cretex that this would not be released until we got a release from them that the payments have been made in full. So, uh, so do by me again? You want him to pay pretext sixty thousand dollars, but you're going to hold sixty thousand until you're Well, well he, he, that's how they typically do it. We typically get, if if there's any question, we get lien waivers from the, like the suppliers, and they 
there to pay their bills before the last payment is made. I, I know he probably used this money for that, but Yemlin himself told me there's plenty of money there. I'm getting this taken care of. Okay. So, um, yeah, it, it, it basically ties up profits or whatever until the job is accepted and that final payment made. But uh, so the work is continuing outside the contract. Right? Yes, the work. Yes. yes. Yep. So two things then, the head wall is not part of the contract, so right. it's a separate building. But then, you know, this junk pile, we have it down that Hamlin would level and bury everything for free once the head wall is poured. Mm -hmm. So we do, we should, do we need to retain a little bit of money there? Probably. Case, and if he doesn't, because Doug Marshall will clear it out. Yes. You know, I, I know the head yes. wall is separate, but I yep. don't think you should pay off a certain amount of it. Because exactly. Of that, because exactly. Because you're going to do it, and he might, I'll just let do it, you know, then yeah. let's make sure the money's there. That's right. Come out of that. Well, and we're setting the hearing today. It's right. not the hearing, so we have a little time, but yeah. But I do think you can contact Yemla and yes. clarify if they're going to remove that pile or not, because Doug said he would, so let's not get two people doing something and nobody doing it and then both doing it. Yeah. Let's find out who's yep. going to do it. Yep. We'll do that. Right. Definitely. Okay, I got a question for you. Yeah. In this project out there, did you inspect the joints? When they made connections, yeah, we we saw nearly everything. Um, how, and how did they, they do their? Did they wrap them in fabric and cement them, or they they wrapped every joint in the main pipe, um, and then the tile connections. Oops, sorry, I didn't get this shut off. New phone. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we were there. Um, they were done kind of in groups. Um, yeah, we haven't heard of any issues. That's uh, what I was concerned. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. you, you were there and kind of inspected some of the main yes. connections. And yes. They're wrapped, but they're not concreted. They're wrapped. Or just uh, the tile connections are not concreted. Okay. Just wrapped. wrapped. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll monitor it here um, this the summer. Big, the biggest problem they had out there was the quicksand problem. Yeah. They had a lot more issues mm -hmm. in that first half quarter mile than they Oh, than they ever anticipated. They really had a slow start. When yeah, they and then they did rock those areas. Yes, yes, they got to solid ground um, and used rock. There was extra rock used on the job. That, that problem was not anticipated no. uh, by us or the contractor. Um, so when they did the, when they moved at the junction box or at the bulkhead, when they moved the old tile over, they you know they used plastic on that, and then they ran the new on the east or the southeast side, west side, I guess it'd be. Yeah. So do you see any problems with that bend in there? With that I don't thing? think so. We saw that. that. I saw that. That, that I'm quite sure is cemented. We'll we'll get a look at that again here as they're doing the head wall. Um, I'll take a look at it again out there. Um, but I had seen it when they were doing the work and it looked like they were doing a good job with it. I mean, so I've been out there. Doug, any indication of what's wet now? He didn't say really what's going to happen no. now. Maybe no, I talked to him last week and really it's on his schedule, but it's, yeah. He's had the materials for it, I guess, the rebar. So um, in the meantime, you better maybe get a hold of DOT and find out if we can permit a pump from the road or a better driveway, they're going to put a driveway and they need to do that. Soon, otherwise yeah. that's going to be another month late. Yeah, yeah. Because the driveway takes time, too, if they aren't. I'll get a hold of the DOT today. I think we need to get an answer from them. Or unless they'll let you take that rail. I don't think they'll let you take that rail. No, I, I don't really think they will. What's the time frame here? When you get in line as far as the completion? <coughs> well, you need at least 10 days after it's published and notice is sent. And technically, you just have to notify the people that the project went through. So it's a matter of how you want to handle that. Uh, you need to plan it out just far enough that, that Trish can get that, the notices taken care of. Um, she has all the addresses and all of that. So I guess, Trish, what are you thinking timing-wise? Not less than 10 or more than 20? No, it just has to be at least 10. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're thinking of bidding on things. Well, Trish, I don't think we should probably add it to June 8th. Yeah. We've got enough there. And, yeah, we need a little more time in two weeks. 
Sure. Yeah. 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 Ye
And that would extend it for two, a full two years? No, and not necessarily, till the problems you've pointed out are taken okay, care of. Okay, the bond issue? Or the bond, the issue. bond is guaranteed for a year. You have the bond so back one in year? one year after acceptance. Oh, okay. yes. I thought it was two. No. Thank you. No. Sorry. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can do that. It, it adds to the cost of the project, and typically those things show up within a year. And it's if it has just shown up in that year, you have you have you are guaranteed to be able to get that fixed. Um, sometimes the conditions aren't right and they can't go in. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, um, Farmers Home Administration or Rural Development they do an 11 month inspection on like buildings which is a little easier to see than something underground, of course. But yeah. because they have a year guarantee, that's just part of their, part of their standard policy, 11-month inspection. Wouldn't be a bad idea to do what, that on what we can see on the job, um, even if it ma it's a matter of, say, well, this would be something where, the, say, this fall, we could write it on four-wheeler, this A1, mm -hmm. look for any holes, wet spots, um, wouldn't cost hardly anything to do that. So that's maybe something we should think about. Just a, an eyeball and everything again. So. Do you have something else? Um, do you know if 33 Branch A extension if both contractors have completed all? I or? never heard of Yemlin get out there. Okay. Well, we yeah. right? Yes. Reitzels were on their way to the Still job when I talked to them last. Really? Williams? Williams, yes. Yeah, Thompson. So we're not sure if they've been out there yet, right? Is that what right. You're That's what I'm saying. I I don't know either. Yeah. So I know Virgil's been waiting for them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. would say something if they've been out there. And Do we have to put anything on 103 from Nancy? Well, that, that project's all been done. Who did they build? Huh? Who did they build? How long did it get done? Before planning, it was all done. Okay. Okay. They well, okay. did it. Okay. I don't think they'll send you though. Because I was out there and watching for a while. Okay. Just didn't okay. send in the bill yet, huh? He just hadn't sent in the bill. But they had another problem on the north side of the tracks. No. Oh, no. There's a big hole out in his field and it's all planted. Oh, shoot. Uh, he's had, uh, I guess, uh, they peeked, look at it a couple times, but there are two different guys that looked at it. Whose farm was that one? Okay. Well, it was Wagner was farming it, but he leased it out to somebody else this year. Okay. All right. Yeah, the time of the bond, a Twenty-one point five one C. Do I hear a motion to go to closed session? I'll make a motion to go into closed session. Here, second. Second. Oh, okay, Gary. Okay. All those in favor of going into closed session on the section of the code. Say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carried. We're now in closed session. We have to clear the room. We'll <coughs> be back shortly. Guess what? Do we need a tape? Do we have a tape recorder in this? Yes. 